evening, everyone. I'm Kimberly Keggy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, first tonight, the story of the day. Hurry up and wait. Well, that's what lawmakers were faced with on the last day of the West Virginia's regular session. The day starting with several dozen pieces of legislation still pending. But as News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson reports, one proposal in particular took up a significant amount of time. The last days of this year's West Virginia legislative session slowed over a disagreement on unemployment reform. The House taking up a compromise around 5.30 Saturday evening. Democrats forcing the bill to be read in its entirety. That taking nearly an hour. 1,100, Once debate started, opponents of the compromise letting their voice be known. This Republican saying the state's unemployment fund is healthy and reform unnecessary. Listen, this affects every employee and every employer in this state. This is a big deal. All of us in here, all the staff, people in the galleries, it affects every one of them. And we rush through policy like this and we think this is a good deal. I think it's preposterous. The same people will say, you should just pull yourselves up by the bootstraps, while at the same time taking away their boots. That's what we do down here. It's shameful. An author of the compromise says the reform will specify job search requirements, requiring those on unemployment conduct at least four work search activities each week. In exchange, those receiving unemployment will see no change in the maximum benefit and no change in the length of unemployment, still 26 weeks. Additionally, the reform will allow for part-time jobs while receiving unemployment. This bill keeps the weeks the same. This bill keeps the wage threshold the same for our employers, so you are not raising taxes. It keeps the average salary same at 62650 and it keeps the weekly benefits the same as the people are receiving now. Our GS vote. The proposal leaving even some supporters confused. I don't think in the short term it does much or, or, or any harm but it might do a little good. So, I'm going to hold my nose and tremble and vote yes. The proposal would take effect July 1st of this year. With Senate passage, unemployment reform will move to the governor. Its impact on other legislation unknown until midnight. Reporting from the state capitol in Charleston, Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3. Well, within minutes of that bill passing the House, Curtis reports the Senate called its members back into session and among other items passing, headed to the governor's desk, tax cuts, tax cuts on Social Security benefits, teacher pay raises, childhood vaccine exemptions for private schools, raising the age for vapes and tobacco to 21, and classroom discussion on creation. Among others, though, still pending with less than an hour left, a bill involving school security officers. That 60-day regular session ends at midnight.